When natural disasters like Hurricane Harvey strike, scientists and engineers at the Pacific Disaster Center in Hawaii work feverishly to track thousands of data sources to assess the severity. Executive Director Ray Shirkodai says in the case of Harvey, some of the damage could have been prevented. The chemical plant that caught fire, before even we, we even knew that chemical plant existed there, we did the analysis and, and you know, there, there was sufficient three, four, five days actually ahead of time that one, even if up until that point no provisions had been made that they could have done better. So businesses so far actually um, have largely viewed disasters and hazards as natural acts that, you know, one could do very little. The Pacific Disaster Center is teaming up with Silicon Valley-based Kazing to create Disaster Aware, software that aims to help businesses access tools that were previously only in the hands of a few. Satellites to planes flying into hurricanes to video feeds, all the information that's been available to government organizations like FEMA and the Department of Defense and even the United Nations will now be available to commercial corporations. Chief Experience Officer Benoit Marchant shows me how it works by tracking a business's assets. In this case, Five Guys Restaurant during Hurricane Irma. Rainfall, wind damage expected, and storm surge dangers are just some of the info that comes in in real time. You have these 36 hours to move anything that's water uh, sensitive out of the way. In the recent California wildfires, authorities constantly questioned as to whether it was too alarmist to send out blanket text messages to people in particular areas. As a result, many people said they didn't realize to evacuate until the fire was literally at their door. With disaster aware, businesses can set alert zones to track their assets and easily view the intensity of ongoing fires like this one in Portland. Users can even access hundreds of traffic cameras from around the world. And in today's society, these bright spots are of utmost importance. Social media flare-ups. Especially things that are man-made, like terrorist attacks. The thing that shows the incident the earliest is a, a Twitter flare. And we can expose on a geospatial map where there's a sudden increase. Kazing is busy doing final tests on Disaster Aware, which will hit the market for businesses within the next few months. A simpler version of their software, the Disaster Alert app, is already available to any mobile user wishing to stay on top of the dangers that surround us. Mark New, CGTN, San Jose, California.